Every 25.3 seconds, a violent crime occurs in America. This is information from the United States Department of Justice, an exclusive section of the American government that has been studying law enforcement for 147 years, in a publication titled Crime Clock that was published in July of 2011. In a poll I have conducted, everyone in this room has seen a violent crime reported on the news. Violence in the media causes violence in society. First, I will tell you the problems that violence in all types of media creates in our society. Finally, I will give you my solution to the violence in the media problem. Violence in video games causes violence in humans every day of life. Research has shown a consistent relationship between violent video game use and aggressive behavior. It also shows decreases in empathy and sensitivity towards aggression. The media believes that gaming habits is a reason people have chose to commit a violent crime. According to Raoul Huseman, a professor for 19 years at the University of Illinois Chicago and four years at Yale University in, communi in communication studies and philosophy research, a part of an article titled, The APA Review Confirms Link Between Video Game Violence and Aggression, published in 2015, states that as many as 20 to 30% of attacks are set off by other attacks. Children who have watched many hours of television when they become, when they were in elementary school, tend to show higher levels of aggressive behavior when they become high school students. Violence is legitimized through its glamorization in broadcast and cable television. Social media is a huge part of today's society. Reported from the iSafe Corporation, the leading internet safety education department, founded in 1998 in an article titled Cyberbullying Statistics and Tips, published in 2004, states that 42% of children have been bullied while online. One in four have had it happen more than once. Sarah Lynn Butler, a seventh grade student from Hardy, Arkansas, committed suicide on September 26, 2009. Sarah was being teased at school for becoming the homecoming queen of a fall festival. She later received bullying messages on her MySpace page. On the morning of her suicide, Sarah stayed home while no one else was, logged onto her MySpace page, and left one last message. As her family came home later that day, they found the note Sarah had left them, and next to the note was the deceased body of their 12-year-old daughter. All because of cyberbullying, a type of social media violence, a 12-year-old's life has now ended. Now that I have told you the problems that violence in the media causes, creates in today's society, I will give you my solutions to, the, to solve this issue. According to Cami Octavon, the CEO of the leading source of pros and cons of controversial issues, who has been with this company for 14 years, in a publication titled Graphs and Charts on Video Games and Youth Violence, last published in February of 2010, states that 68% of the American household plays video games. If you are a parent with minors playing video games, be aware of what games they are playing and make sure that it is appropriate for the developmental level of your child. Test the video games before allowing your child to play them. Encourage the youth to limit their playing time so that the, the screen isn't their sole source of entertainment. While reporting news, broadcasters should focus more on the victims of a violent act and less on glamorizing the crime itself, who did it, and how it was achieved. Everyone should set limits on how often they watch television. Parents, help your children select shows that are appropriate for their age level. Also, find shows that have characters that portray a positive role model in it. Explain the difference between violence in television and violence in society today. Everyone should be encouraged to go outside, spend time with your family or friends, Play, play cards or do a craft instead of being logged on to a social media app or website. To, to influence this idea more, we, should, we could limit the number of social media apps we have downloaded onto our phones or tablets. We could also raise the age needed to get social media apps like Facebook, <coughs> Instagram, or Snapchat. Everyone sh should be encouraged to develop an awareness of violence, whether it's in the media or in society today. As you can see, violence in the media causes violence in society. First, I told you the problems that violence in all types of media creates in today's society. Finally, I gave you my solutions to the violence in the media problem. As you recall, every 25.3 seconds, a violent crime occurs in America. In the time it took me to give my speech, approximately 125 violent crimes have occurred in the United States.